the world has lost one of the most gifted footballers to have played the beautiful game in over a century. Edson Arantes do Nascimento of Brazil, who was popularly known as Pele, passed away on December 29th, having lost a battle against cancer. The 82-year-old legend had been admitted to hospital at the end of November because of a resurgence of the disease. Pele was born in 1940 to a poor family in Tre Curacos, Brazil. Like so many Brazilian children, he grew up with a football at his feet and burst onto the scene in 1958 at the age of 17. He won the Football World Cup in that year and was given another nickname, the King. The golden age of Brazilian football began under him. He epitomized the playing style that later became the default association with Brazil. It is popularly called Samba or Jinga and takes inspiration from both the martial arts and a dance form. The result is visible as true mastery of the control of the football. Pelé went on to win another two World Cups in 1962 and 1970, a feat no other footballer has achieved. His eye for goal was unmatched, having scored 1,279 in 1,363 games, which also included friendlies. That's a Guinness World Record. His identity became the number 10 jersey and his name will stand at the very peak of the greatest to ever wear it. That list includes Johan Cruyff, Diego Maradona, Zinedine Zidane and of course Lionel Messi. Pelé was recognized as the athlete of the century in 1999 by the International Olympic Committee and as the World Player of the Century by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics. But his legacy will live on beyond the statistics and accolades and will be remembered every time a gifted young Brazilian sways to the samba with a football at his feet.